Today's video, I'm going to give you a setup that is going to do a really good job at consistently attacking the meta, which at this point in Madden 24 is any kind of cover four or cover two Mabel. Those are really the two predominant metas that we're seeing form post-patch defensively. So I want to give you one of my favorite all-time setups to be able to attack this. This comes to us out of the gun bunch. We're going to be taking a look at the play Bench Pivot. It's in the Jets playbook. And if you want to get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, join the Patreon. We actually just dropped a full Jets ebook, and we have a ton of really good stuff out of Bunch Strong Offset, as well as pretty much all of these incredible formations in the playbook. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, get in the Patreon. It's only $10. It will make you a better Madden player, and you get everything for that $10. You get all the ebooks, all the updates, everything for $10. The key to this play is that we are going to be running this with our Bunch to the short side of the field. By choosing to run this with your bunch to the short side of the field, it is going to make this a ton simpler and better for attacking any kind of double Mabel defense. The only setup that we're going to do is we're going to streak either the slot or the outside bunch receiver. Okay, so first coverage I want to show this against is a backed off 30 yard cloud because this is what most people right now defensively, this is kind of what we're seeing is this defense right here. They're going to try to send three, and they're going to kind of get down in here with their user, okay? Very simple setup. Now, one little pro tip for this play, I love to motion my running back to the right just so that they can't run match coverage. If you didn't know, when you have four receiving threats to one side of the field, it's also known as quads or bunch strong or, or whatever, this is going to literally cancel match and it's going to turn it into a drop zone coverage. So it's a nice little thing to do just to make sure your opponent can't attack you with match coverage. Your running back doesn't even have to be on a route. It's just if you're not going to motion anybody else, you might as well do this because it will cancel an entire way people will play defense. And it forces them to either play you in man or zone. And we do have uh, some good man beaters on this play as well, which we'll go over in a minute. So first things first, the main route on the play is this tight end route. As you can see, it's going to consistently get underneath a 30-yard cloud. So if they are backing off their zones, typically you're going to get a 30-yard cloud, okay? So now, what if they're pressing? What if they're pressing their zones? A lot of times, if, if your opponent is pressing their zone coverage, it is probably going to be a cover four of some type. So how do we attack an outside quarter? This is why it is very important to run this with the bunch to the short side of the field. And due to the delayed nature of this tight end corner, that outside quarter really never defends it. And you're going to be able to attack consistently to that side of the field. Super, super good play uh, for cover, cover four. Now, I did want to show what happens when we put the slot receiver on a streak or a fade against cover four coverage. Most of the time, it's still going to be good. But as you can see, that outside quarter will play a little bit better this year. The reason why is due to the zone, uh, the grid system that zone is based off of in Madden, where the slot receiver, if you look closely, is inside of the numbers. But the outside receiver is on the numbers. And so when you put the outside receiver on a fade or a streak, he's going to have a better chance at getting up into the grid of the outside quarter. So that outside quarter has to respect that outside bunch. And then you're able to attack uh, with your tight end, as you can see right there. This also opens up a really good way for us to be able to attack man coverage in the same uh, breath. So let's say that they are running some man coverage. Maybe, they're, uh, maybe their defense looks like this, and maybe they're adjusting out of it, sometimes running man, sometimes running zone, right? This same route combo applies, and I want you to take a look at Jamar Chase. You're going to see this is a zig route, a very good route for attacking man coverage in this game. So you're still able to attack man coverage really easily uh, with Jamar Chase's route. Even though you might not get a lot of yards, it's still going to be a consistent man beater for you. And then the other cool part about this is the tight end corner a lot of times will actually beat man coverage over the top. So you can free form and high point or free form it to leverage and you're able to attack man covers that way. I want to talk about shaded over top man as well because I know we're going to get some of that. So what about a shaded over top man coverage? Maybe they drop a hard flat. They start to get a little adjusty. Um, how do we attack? How do we attack a shade over top? Kind of, kind of similar. Um, a, you want to look at your zig route. But B, um, the tight end corner, a lot of times, you see there the zig just kills that coverage. If they don't have a five-yard zone, that is going to be open, okay? So that's the first kind of step. But then let's say that, you know, 
that's taken away and maybe they're using the in route and now all we really have um, is going to be the tight end corner. But the tight end corner is really good at beating man because it's a kind of an angled corner. So we can kind of ag it. And a lot of times, even if we don't catch it, they'll never pick it. So that's another option. Um, that's another option on the play is, you know, being able to attack with something like that. A lot of times, um, Praxmo is doing this route a little bit of a disservice, but a lot of times this tight end corner will beat man coverage. Um, just right on that back, right on that last cut to the sideline. See right there. And you're able to just pass it outside and attack it. So you're able to, you know, kind of work man coverage over. There's not a lot they can do uh, from a man coverage lens or perspective. And then I did want to show this. So let's say, for example, they decide, okay, we're going to go user the tight end route because it's just, you know, it's too hard to stop it or whatever. Then on this play, we have a, a nice backside check down where we can throw this in route and the smart routed in routes are one of the most consistent ways to beat man coverage in this game. This is also going to apply to a standard cover four because if they choose to go guard the tight end, then the same thing is going to happen. Another little cool thing, if you are not worried about the blitz, you can put your running back on a table route, you can put your running back on an in route. In either one of those routes are really good just to kind of open up the middle of the field a little bit more for that in route to be able to work. So it's a great way to attack kind of the Mabel uh, meta that we're seeing develop and also uh, be able to attack cover four. You can just do a lot with this play and it really can open up some of your bigger hitting, bigger hitting corner routes uh, to the bunch side. Thanks for watching the video. To get better at Madden, join the Patreon today for just $10. You'll get access to all of our eBooks, all of our updates, everything you need to become a better John Madden uh, football player. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.